Do you know these songs that you listen to and you hear a beautiful love story and then you listen to them again the next day and you hear something completely different? Well, that is exactly what is happening to me with France's entry for Eurovision 2024, Mon Amour by Slimane. Sometimes I listen to it and I hear the story of a lost and impossible love. Then I listen to it and I hear social criticism and the plight of an immigrant. And then I listen to it again and I hear the relationship between an artist and his public. In this video, I will talk about all three of these interpretations. If you're only interested in one, use the timestamps in the video. In a post accompanying the release of his song, Sliman said, for my parents, for my daughter, for France, and for you. And the you can be either the person that the song is about, or you, the public that is going to hear my song. And this might already hint at the different ways of hearing this song. Now let's start with the most obvious interpretation, at least according to me. This is the first thing I thought of when I heard the song, and that is that it's about a love story an impossible love, a love that is falling apart, and a relationship that is breaking up. In an interview with Vivi Blogs, Sliman said that the song is very close to his personal experience. And in his social media in 2022, I found a post where he says that he is just overcoming a relationship, the breakup of a relationship. He posted this around Valentine's Day and he said, last year around Valentine's Day, I was crying like a baby because my ex was going out with someone else. But now I am happier and doing much better. He actually said, a year later, I live my best life. At least I got to write great songs. Thank you. Next, referencing Ariana Grande. So maybe this song references the time that led up to the breakup of that relationship. The song is about a very difficult situation and time in a relationship when you are very much still in love, but you have a lot of doubt about the future and you have doubts whether the other person is actually still in love with you as well. My love, tell me what you are thinking about. If all of this makes sense, sorry if I bother you with this. So already in this first verse, there's already a lot of doubt. Does this relationship still make sense? And I also feel like it's after a fight, he's kind of walking on eggshells when he says, sorry if I bother you with this. He's very fearful of rejection as well. And then he continues, I love you, I don't know why, do you love me or not? So he still feels a lot of love and he doesn't quite know why, which cannot be a good sign for this relationship. He also then asks himself and the other party whether they still love him as well. And then he also thinks back of better times in the past. Do you remember us? The first date, it was beautiful, it was mad. He seems to want to hang on to that past with all his might as he says, my love, I would do anything, an ocean in the fire, the impossible if you want. This part is very much a lyrical continuation of great French chansons to me like Ne me quitte pas by Jacques Brel. In this song, he also pleads to a woman with growing despair not to leave him. And he says, I will offer you pearls of rain from countries where it does not rain. So a very similar image to a notion in the fire. Céline Dion sings in Pour que tu m'aimes encore that she will cast African spells, make herself a queen and do everything that the other girls are doing to give him pleasure just so he continues to love her. And in Mon Amour, this readiness to do whatever it takes becomes even more apparent when Sliman sings, tell me the place I will wait for you there and if you don't come, I will still wait for you. So this comes very close to self-abandonment, just doing whatever it takes, giving up on your needs just to keep the relationship going. And this becomes even more apparent in another part of the song. My love, come back to Paris, do it for us, I beg you, I promise you, I have understood. So he begs and he says that he has understood what the other person wants from him, or at least he pretends to understand. And that comes right after and before another part in the song where he says that the other person doesn't understand him and his needs at all. Mais 
So in a nutshell, it's a relationship that is collapsing and Sliman is trying to hold on to it with all his might, bordering on self-abandonment. And to me, that's why it's not so much a love letter and much more the description of a very desperate situation in a relationship. So now to my second interpretation, which is that the song is about the experience of a non-white person, an immigrant in France. Instead of singing to a romantic partner, Sliman might be singing about and to France and having a conversation with France and French society. And the Mon Amour that he is singing about might be his country. His love for France becomes very apparent in the interview with France Inter. Pour vous, les valeurs de la France, être français, montrer la France, c'est quoi Montrer la France, c'est montrer l'amour, c'est montrer le partage. Aujourd'hui, on est là, Alex et moi, avec des histoires différentes, avec des origines différentes, avec des confessions différentes. Mais, mais on est libres tous les deux, on est fraternels tous les deux, et on vient pour reparler de musique, c'est ça la France. However, Sliman has also been very open about the racism that he has faced in his life. His grandparents immigrated to France from Algeria, a fact that he also mentions in the interview. Ça veut dire quoi, représenter la France, être ambassadeur de la France pendant un an pour vous, pour vous, ça veut dire quoi C'est quelles valeurs que vous défendez oh, Ça veut dire beaucoup. J'en parlais tout à l'heure avec un ami à moi. Je, je, je lui disais, c'est fou. Mon grand-père, il est venu ici euh, en France pour euh, travailler euh, dans une usine à charbon. Et euh, il est mort d'ailleurs à cause de ça. Il est venu, venu d'Algérie. Et me dire qu'aujourd'hui, euh, euh, ben, son petit-fils euh, va représenter la France avec une chanson qu'il a écrite, qu'il a composée, euh, qui s'appelle Mon amour, qui parle de romantisme euh, et, euh, et d'amour à la française. Je trouve ça beau. Je trouve... Euh, je, je, J'aime cette idée-là. J'aime, j'aime représenter ça. I really love the story and the pride he feels to be able to represent France. However, during his time on The Voice, there were also a lot of racist comments on social media, which he had a brilliant response to. Arab, fag, black, Muslim, Jew, French, hetero, whichever I am, I am very happy not to be you. And he also said, I don't want to be part of those that shut up. The worst things in the world have happened because no one ever stood up to certain idiots. So he has made clear that he will talk about these issues. And in 2017, he also talked about an incident on a train from Belgium to France, where a policeman checked his documents and only his documents. And Sleiman was the only non-white passenger on that train. And this experience and background is where I think the lyrics might be hiding a different message. He sings, I replay the scene but it always ends the same way. You don't understand my pain. So the scene he is replaying and singing about here might not be the scene of a love story, but rather that scene on this train with this police officer. The fact that this police officer doesn't see it as a problem to control only the non-white person on the train, that he doesn't understand how much it hurts to be singled out like that. The police officer doesn't understand his pain. About this incident, Sliman has said, I wasn't bothered for me, but I thought about my 18-year-old brother being controlled while his friend isn't. I think there should be a minimum of psychology going into these controls. And then says that everyone should be controlled and no one should be singled out. On a bigger scale, this might also mean that there is a lack of understanding or a misunderstanding of the perspective and experience of immigrants in society. And the on en fait quoi? What shall we do about it? What shall we do about the fact that you don't understand my pain? Might refer to the lack of political solutions to this problem. And then in the next part of the song, when he sings, My love, I would do anything. An ocean in the fire, the impossible if you want. Doing the impossible made me think of this very nice image of Schrödinger's immigrant, which is based on Schrödinger's cat, which is both dead and alive at the same time. And an immigrant that works is stealing our jobs, and an immigrant that doesn't work is just lazy and living off welfare. So an immigrant has to basically do the impossible to be accepted. He has to be... So whenever you are doing something wrong, you are part of the minority, and every time you do something right, you are accepted into mainstream society. And in the case of Sliman, this phrase, 
do you love me or not, might refer to the fact that he is a very successful singer, gets a lot of awards and accolades, and then the next day he is on a train and he still gets discriminated against for being who he is. And the part of the lyrics that say, does this all make sense and sorry if I disturb, might refer to immigrants asking for their fair share in society. The part that doesn't really work with this interpretation is, my love, come back to Paris, do it for us, I beg you, I promise you, I have understood. But you could include it if you see it as a shift in perspective. It's actually society asking him, the non-white person, to come back to the table. They have understood and are trying to find a solution. But as we know in the song, the next thing he says is that you don't understand my pain. And he keeps replaying the scene, but it always has the same outcome. So there's a bit of a circular element that doesn't seem to be a real solution. And there's actually a bit of a meta element in some of the reactions to him representing France. Right-wing politician Jean-Michel Cadenat tweeted, Slimane, the French Algerian, will represent France at Eurovision. Who chooses these representatives of France? Bilal Hassani, Lazara, Salvador Sobral, who didn't actually represent France, but Portugal, but anyway, with his t-shirt supporting refugees and Merci, an ode to immigrants. And Cadena is especially critical of Sliman for his criticism of the police in the incident that led to the death of a young man earlier this year, a point of contention in French society. And you see here, Sliman is third generation. He was born in France. He's a big success story. But when it's time to criticize him, he is French Algerian. And so I think there is a case to be made that this is a song about the experience of Sliman as a third generation immigrant, a non white person in France, a song about France, to France, but also all of Europe, because the experience of immigrants is very similar in all of these countries, of course. Now to my third interpretation, which is not completely separate from the second one, and that is the artist and his relationship to his public. I think you can see a lyrical continuation of sorts in recent French Eurovision entries. Voila by Barbara Pravi is about her bearing her all and hoping for a positive response from the audience. Évidemment by Lazara also has elements that point in this direction. I made a video about that a few months ago if you're interested. And so I can also see that in Mon Amour a little bit. Sliman as an artist sings to his great love, his public that he wants to entertain. He sings for them and he asks them whether they will love him back this big fear of an artist to go on stage and then no one appreciates you, no one applauds for you. Sliman doesn't have that problem at all. He's a very successful singer, but at the beginning of his career, he did participate in a few casting shows where he wasn't really successful. And so the song might be partly about that as well. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm over-interpreting? I have been told that I'm doing that, but I really love doing it, so anyway. Did you like the video? Did you like my interpretations? Do you see other aspects that I forgot? Or do you disagree with something that I said? Please let me know in the comments. And please uh, subscribe to my channel if you like this video. I will be doing lyric interpretations of the coming Eurovision entries. I have done lyric interpretations of past Eurovision entries. So check that out if you're interested. And then I'll see you for my next video. See you then and bye bye.